Welcome everyone to my talk. Um, my name is uh, Frank Scholten. I'm a software developer at Orange 11 in Amsterdam. Used to be called J Team. Um, and I'm a committer at uh, Apache Weir. And in this talk, I'm going to show you how to launch a Mahout cluster on the cloud uh, so you can run your machine learning uh, jobs. And the uh, agenda for this talk will be uh, based on uh, four different parts. So first, a few words about machine learning and uh, the cloud in general. Then I will talk a little bit about Apache Mahout, uh, a little bit about Apache Weir. And finally, I will sort of zoom in on uh, Weir's Mahout service. OK, so um, if you want to do uh, some kind of machine learning task, uh, like uh, doing recommendations or automatically clustering text or anything, you need, like, uh, in general, you need three things. You need data, you need an algorithm to do it, and you need some infrastructure or some machines to run your algorithm on, of course. So your data could be, yeah, could be user clicks, log files, could be text, could be anything. And of course, an algorithm like uh, a clustering algorithm or collaborative filtering algorithm. And then, of course, you, you would have to use some machines to uh, run these algorithms on. So if you're lucky and you work at a really big company uh, that has like uh, its own uh, private cloud or anything, then you, of course, could use that. But if you just have your own application, you can, use, uh, you can start up some machines in the cloud and you can run some stuff there. So that's uh, what I'm going to be talking about. And sort, sort of the general uh, f f uh, workflow will be something like this. You, you have your, your application, which, which could be in the cloud or, or not. It generates some data. You would have to export it first, uh, then put it into the cloud, run your algorithm there, and then later the results can then be imported back into your application. <clears throat> And uh, of course, uh, this, this is a really simple picture of uh, the, in, the in entire process. So um, the, on, the only thing I will be talking about is really how to start up the cluster uh, so you're able to run your stuff in the first place. Um, but of course, in practice, you would have to uh, do other stuff as well. OK, now on to uh, Apache Mahout. Uh, the idea behind Mahout is to build a library of uh, scalable machine learning algorithms, uh, most of them uh, which are supposed to run on Hadoop to make them scale, although not, not all of them. There are also some algorithms that can be run on a single node because they're fast enough. They don't, they don't need to be distributed. Uh, it has a user and item-based recommendation. Uh, you can uh, create uh, different kinds of classification algorithms with, with it and, of course, clustering. And at the moment, uh, the 0 0.7 release uh, is, is being built, I think, as we speak. <laughs> uh, and um, it's uh, mostly a cleanup and refactoring release. So um, some, some of the stuff has been removed that, that wasn't used very often or has been replaced with a more powerful algorithm. And um, yeah, so it's largely a cleanup. <clears throat> So how, how do you run uh, Mahout then? There are two ways to uh, run it. You can either uh, use the Mahout script, and you can run a certain program. And usually, if you want to do uh, re recommendations or clustering, you would have to run several jobs in sequence to get the result you want. So in this case, you could run the k-means uh, clustering algorithm, and you just pass in a bunch of uh, parameters, like where your data comes from, where it has to be stored, and some other things like the number of clusters you want in this case. But also you can run, you can run your algorithm from Java using the driver class. So in this case you use Hadoop's tool runner, you, uh, you pass in the configuration, and, uh, and then your arguments, and then you can just run your job from Java. <clears throat> okay, so back to our, um, back to our image again. We have the machine learning algorithm because we will be using Mahout then. But then how do we actually run it in the cloud? And how, how do we start up the machines? Because 
you know, you, you can get a you get an account at Amazon, for instance, but then you, you have a bunch of empty instances. You still need to get the software there, right? So, how, how does that work? Well, luckily uh, we have a tool, uh, Apache Weir, and what it basically does, um, it uh, it allows you to deploy services in the cloud. So, on the left-hand side, you can see uh, a, a bunch of services that we support, uh, like um, Elasticsearch, Hadoop, HBase, Mahout, many more actually. And where it allows you to say, well, I want to have uh, a number of machines that run these services. And we will take care of all like, the nitty-gritty details of installing the software packages and setting up uh, the machines itself. And uh, there are also many different uh, cloud providers supported, not, not just Amazon. So. Okay, here are a few concepts in uh, Weir. First of all, the most uh, important thing is uh, the, the idea of a cluster, which is just a group of instances. <coughs> so you can see here in this example, you have uh, five different instances. And um, what, uh, what you can do, uh, basically you can, um, if you want to install a service, a service usually has uh, a, b a bunch of roles, and every, every instance can have several roles. So, so in this case, if I want to install Hadoop, you have uh, uh, four different roles, the name node, job tracker, task tracker, data node. And then you have to sort of specify like which, uh, which of the roles you, you, want to, you want to run on which instances. And uh, in, in this case, uh, uh, the Mahout service only has a single role because uh, it, it is installed on the name node in this case. So you can see here that um, yeah, I've, I've, I have two services installed on different, uh, different instances. And so what does the Mahout service uh, do exactly? It installs the binary distribution tarball. So it just uh, grabs it from, uh, from the Apache archives and uh, in installs it in the, under user local, I think. And then it sets uh, the environment variables. <clears throat> so the idea is that when it's installed, you can log on, you can log on onto the cluster, and you can just start running with it. Also, you can configure uh, two two different properties. So you can uh, you can change the URL where it's downloaded from, um, and also you can you, you can change the version. Another nice uh, trick that you can use is you can use a file URL. So if you have um, this is really interesting uh, if, you, if you're doing development on uh, Mahout itself. So say I uh, have, have a checkout of, my, uh, of a Mahout tree on my laptop. I can make a few changes, uh, create a distribution with Maven, and then point uh, where to, to this distribution on the laptop, and that, that will then be installed on the cluster so I can quickly test my own development. <coughs> Okay, so how do you start a cluster? Well, first you have to create a uh, property file, a work, work configuration file. And uh, the most important thing is the, the instance template. And this sort of specifies the, how you map certain roles on the different instances in the cluster. So in this case, you can see I want to have one node that's sort of the, the main node with the name node and the mode client. And then I have like 10 other data nodes, for instance. And this is sort of how you specify the cluster itself. Also, what you can do is uh, you can override uh, all sorts of configuration uh, in uh, Hadoop. So, so you, can, you, you can give your um, uh, nodes more heap space or uh, other kind of options. And uh, we will make sure that all the Hadoop configuration will be, will be, will be generated on the cluster. And it will also, also generate it on your local machine, actually. <coughs> So when you've created the property file, you can just say uh, launch cluster and pass in the property file, and then it's started. OK, so how do you use it? Under your, uh, in your inner home there, uh, there will be a .weir folder with all the, with all the, all the different clusters you have. So you, you can have m multiple clusters running at the same time if you want. And you just, you just go to the folder there, and there is an instances, instances file which contains like all the, all the instances with their 
IP addresses and, and their roles. So if you want to log in, you can just check the file, what the, what the IP address is for the name node, for instance. You can just SSH into it immediately because the key, uh, the public key has already been authorized. So you get a, a password as login. And then from there, you can, uh, you can copy your data on the cluster and you can start working. So you can uh, uh, run your Mahout job here from the command line. OK, so how does a, a weird service actually work in, internally? It's basically, uh, it uses uh, Java and Bash scripts. So um, we're, uh, we're ha we're has uh, several phases, a configure phase and a bootstrap phase. <coughs> First, it sort of runs the bootstrap phase on all, all the instances in the cluster, and then the configure phase uh, on all the instances in the cluster. And the idea is that you can sort of hook into these phases uh, at, at a certain point by overriding methods in, the, in this case, the cluster action handler support. So, you, so the idea is you have to figure out if you want to build a service, like at what point you want to install the software or start the software or make some final um, changes in the configuration. And for, for example, you can use the, the add statement call to uh, run a bash script. So the idea is you, uh, you do add statement and you pass in the, the name of the script. Uh, you can also pass in a, a, a flag for the script. In this case, uh, I'm calling um, a script to install Mahout and I pass in the location of the tarball uh, as a parameter. And then you can also, f from the scripts you create yourself, you can uh, use the scripts that are already provided by Weir. So the install tarball, install OpenGDK, you can just call them directly from your, uh, from your script. All right, um, there's also an example you can, you can try out if you, if you like. Um, what it does is uh, it's uh, a bunch of scripts, including configuration, that launches a Mahout cluster. And it also attaches and mounts uh, um, e EBS disk with uh, the email archives from, uh, from Apache. Uh, so, when it started up, you can uh, log in, do a distributed copy, and you can uh, run your algorithms on it. Okay, some, uh, some final tips and tricks. You can use the environment variables as well. Uh, I mean, I, I use, use Weir a lot, so I, I just have my uh, stuff in my environment variables to pick it up automatically. Also, if you want to install something on Weir, but there's no service for it yet, you can use uh, the no-op role. So you can say, I want to have one, one empty machine, no-op, and then you can use the run script command to um, run a script that's on your local machine. It will be uploaded and then run. So that's also a nice way to uh, start machines. And finally, you can also use the Java API to start a cluster. Uh, really uh, simple. All right, some conclusions. Uh, yeah, so Weir enables you to automatically deploy uh, Mahout. Some of the topics I didn't really go into uh, was uh, sort of uh, some uh, how, to, how to tweak the performance of your, of your cluster. You have to sort of override these Hadoop settings, and that's a whole separate science. Um, another thing as well, if you want to integrate it into your application, you have to also get the data back again. And in this case, uh, the data was on, um, on the EBS disk, so uh, it was already there. Um, finally, some upcoming features. Uh, at the moment, it's not possible to, to add nodes on a, on, a, on a cluster that's already running. That's, that's, a, that's a limitation. Um, what we're also working on is uh, to deploy to a fragile box cloud, because if you, if you develop a service, it's, um, uh, it takes a while to, um, well, the, 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 the development cycle is a bit long, because if I write a service, I deploy it in the cloud, it may, it may have, make a mistake, and I have to tear it down again, I have to uh, make some changes, and that, that, will, that will take a few minutes. So that's, uh, it, it will be better if I could just deploy to a virtual box, that would uh, speed up the development cycle. Another thing is that with, with some other complicated services like uh, HBase, you sometimes want to control the ordering in which uh, certain roles are started. 
And at the moment, that's not yet possible. So that, that can also give some problems sometimes. So th these are some things, things that need to be fixed in the future. Uh, finally, some references. Uh, you can check out the mailing lists. You can check out our blog at Orange 11. I'm actually uh, way ahead of time. <laughs> so if you have any questions. <laughs> Hi, our, our company is setting up an internal cloud service, I think using VMware. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really know the details. What, what do we need to tell them to get them to make it work compatible? Okay. Um, I think because uh, we're internally uses uh, the J Clouds API, and I'm not sure if, uh, if, that's, if um, VMware is supported. I have to check that out. Right, so but, yeah. J, J Cloud is the kind of... J Cloud does of the heavy lifting of Weir. Right. Weir makes, uh, makes it easy to develop a service, but like the, the really low-level stuff is done by J Clouds, actually. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah Ted? Microphone? <laughs> Are there limits on how large a cluster you can make with Weir? I think that depends on the uh, depends on the cloud provider. I've seen in some cases errors with trying to instantiate large clusters of more than twenty or so nodes. Okay. Uh, do you know anything where those limits might be? No, I have to no, I have to uh, check that out myself. But yeah, I, I know that Amazon, if you want to go beyond twenty, you have to register for it. But that's something different. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. More questions. We have enough time. Take your time to think. <laughs> it works. Is it planned to have something like automated uh, scaling if the services are limited by performance? I didn't get the last part. To have scaling when? Just to have automated scaling based on uh, uh, usage. Yeah, I think, I think there's a ticket for that. But uh, it's blocked by the fact that uh, we, we cannot add machines to a running cluster yet. It has to be fixed first. That's, that's, a diff that's a difficult problem, but um, I, I personally haven't, haven't worked on that one, uh, actually. So, unfortunately. <clears throat> For clusters that need to inform all the members of the clusters, very strange. Uh, inform all the members of the cluster, all the other members of the cluster's IDs or host names. Is there provision for that in this? And just to save some time, are you using uh, Whir in production? Um, I'm not sure if there's explicit uh, provisioning for that. I do know that uh, Zoo Zoo Zookeeper is one of the supported services, so you could use that maybe. Um, I'm not. I'm not using. We're, we're in production yet, but I'm. I'm using it to uh, to test uh, mood developments. So I I, I, I wrote a tool to um, to read files from a large Lucene index uh, in a distributed fashion. So I, I wanted to test it. So that that's also one of the reasons why I wrote this to be able to quickly t uh, run my uh, d uh, development on the mode. Um, I would be interesting, uh, interested in uh, the classifiers that are implemented in Mahout. Um, last time I checked it, um, there were some classifiers or some algorithms missing, um, especially if you compare it to the Weka framework. Um, is there some development going on? 
in terms of classification, um, I do know that there's a, well, that's not classification actually. Uh, I know there's, a, there's been an improvement on the, uh, let's see, knife base was uh, dropped, I think, and there was, oh, sorry. Yeah, there was, um, maybe Ted can answer this one. <laughs> Uh, the knife base uh, implementations are being made much more deployable, but uh, it's important to realize there's a difference in goals. R and Weka want broad coverage, but don't care much about large scalability. Mahout cares only about scalability and not about broad coverage of algorithms. And so most machine learning algorithms are second order methods and are inherently quadratic in cost and therefore non-scalable and therefore not interesting in a Mahout setting. That said, there are new algorithms coming, uh, some very fast clustering <coughs> algorithms that form the basis of nearest neighbor algorithms, both scalable. So those would be uh, of real interest, I think, to most people who want large classifiers and probably uh, parallel versions of SGD as well. Thank you very much for your talk. Thank you.